Okay, so now in this video, we will be working on our main door. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to create a UI for it. And also we're going to add the keypad lock right here. All right, let's first of all add the keypad lock. So for that, if we click on game, then this electric door key, click on source. Here it is. Let's just simply drag and drop it right here. Okay, here it is. What we're going to do, we're going to rotate it like this on minus 90 on the Y axis. And then what we can do, we can move it up a little bit and also make sure that it is attached to the wall like this. All right. Then we need to fix its materials so click on it click on materials as you can see there is no material so if you click on its texture here it is as you can see this is all of the textures and this is the materials inside this textures folder so just simply drag and drop this material onto this as you can see here it is our keypad all right now we can start the game and we can see how does this look Plus, we're gonna check the size of it. Right, as you can see, it is really low, so we need to move this a little bit up. Stop the game. Select this and then move it up. Like, alright, let me press Ctrl Z and then move it up like this. Alright, then play the game again. Okay, it looks good now. All right, so after adding this, now we need to add the UI for this as well. All right, so for the UI, what we're gonna do, we're gonna create a UI canvas right here. Name this as keypad lock canvas. All right, make sure that this canvas is set to scale with screen size make it 920 by 1080 then click on 2d and double click on this keypad log canvas right here we're going to create a ui panel all right let's make this panel darker and make this value as 200 for example all right, and make sure that it covers the whole screen. Okay. After this, what we're going to do is in here, we're going to create a UI image. So add a UI image. Name this as password area. And to this image, what we're going to do is if you go inside the sprites folder, let me check the game. We have the scripts, audio. All right, we didn't add the sprites, so let's go ahead and add sprites. Go ahead and download the sprites.winrar file and extract it in there. You will find the sprites folder. Okay, just simply drag and drop this inside the game folder. And when you do that, open it up. And as you can see, these are all the sprites. All right, uh, make sure that you change its type to sprite 2d and ui all right for me right here it is already changed but for you guys if it is not changed then make sure that you change it to sprite 2d and ui all right then click on password area and in here you will find this pass remove pg preview you will find this image just simply drag and drop it right there then click on set native size as you can see here it is we can make it a little bit bigger like this all right and let's move it up a little bit that's it all right if you click on simulator and in simulator you can select the iphone 12 or whatever phone you are using all right let's select iphone 11 here it is okay it looks good right here now what we're gonna do 
we gonna make these buttons workable all right so for that inside the password area what we're gonna do we're gonna create a ui button so let's add ui legacy button here it is move it right here name this button as button one okay in here remove this text and we're gonna remove this image as well but first of all let's resize it according to this button so that it covers this whole button like this all right this will be our button one then this one will be our button two so just move it right here all right then button three move it right here then button four make sure that it covers the whole button then this will be our button five then six then right here this will be our button seven all right you can duplicate these buttons by pressing ctrl d all right just like i'm pressing ctrl d duplicate it and then move the duplicate one to the next button like this then duplicate it again this will be our nine button then the no button or you can say the back button and the zero button if you want you can make uh, this button as well this hash uh, sorry star button but i will not be using that so i'm going to just skip to the go button right here all right and we can resize it like this all right once you do this then go ahead and rename it one by one so button three then this one will be our button four then button five six seven then eight then nine then this one is the back button so we're gonna name this as no actually let's name it no then this one is our button zero so name it as button zero and then this one is our go button so let's name this as go and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna move this no button in the hierarchy right down below right after the button zero right so that all the buttons are in line and then we have the no and go button once you do this select all of the buttons and disable their image like this that is all you have to do all right let's go back now so change from 2d mode let's double click on our electric door key here it is all right since our panel is done as you can see what we can do we can disable this panel all right just the panel not the canvas then click on scene view back again make sure that you select this electric key door right here all right you can even move this inside the environment if you want and then inside this electric key door we will add a light so if you click on light then from here let's add a point light all right here it is okay let's click on journal this will be a point light then let's open all of these other things as well change its color to red and its intensity should be 0 0.01 okay and i think that is pretty much it for this just make sure that it is in the right position okay now if we change from simulator back to game since we don't have any android input so we can't play the game on a uh, mobile phone all right so if you check it out right here as you can see here it is okay when the door is locked it will be red and when it unlock it will be then green okay we're gonna change the color of this by using a script okay so now once the electric keypad is done and we also add a 
UI for it. Now the next thing is to work on this script. So for that, in the door folder, what we're gonna do, we're gonna create a new script. Let's name this as password manager. All right, you can click on the canvas. Just drag and drop the script to the canvas and then let's open this up. All right, and in the next video, we're gonna work on our password manager script. So see you guys in the next one.